Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas and we are using number 3 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it we will look at our answers together. So we have a problem that seems like it was getting started here, but they didn't quite finish it. So there's a bulletin board and they're putting little squares across. And it looks like we've got uh, three different rows of squares, but they didn't quite finish putting all the squares ac across. And this is what we're looking at here. So area is something new that we are looking at in the third grade. So the area is the inside measurement. So when you want to measure um, some type of space inside of a shape, in this case it's rectangle, it's going to be area. And we're going to use squares. Uh, if we're wanting to measure the outside of something, well, that's what we've learned since uh, first grade, is that it's the perimeter. It's adding up the outside. So keep that in mind. We're not adding up the outside. We're keep adding up the inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put little squares. Now, each square has to be the same size. So these squares are just one unit. Sometimes they'll say, they'll say feet, they'll say inches, they'll say, they'll say meters. But in this case, they just say one unit. Unit just means anything. It, it could be anything. Well, let's just extend out these lines. Because if we extend out these lines, We can just go ahead and finish. They've already got the rows up there, so let's just label these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I've got fifteen square units. Now there's three different ways we can write this. Fifteen square units. So we just kind of abbreviate the square with sq. We can write out the square all together, square units, which is what we did here on b. And then we can also write, this is kind of an interesting one, but you'll see it as you get a little bit older with an exponent. So you're going to write the unit, in this case it's just a unit, and then you put that little 2 up there, that's an exponent, and that means squared. And so all three of these say the same thing, 15 square units or 15 units squared. Now, that's the area. And so let's see if we can figure out an easier way that we could have solved this, because there is a shortcut, and you probably notice a pattern. So how many rows do we have here? We've got three rows. Then how many columns or how many squares in each row do we have? Well, we've got four five columns or five squares in each row. What if I were to draw this? Let's see if I can do that. I'm just going to draw five circles here. Now I'm going to do three rows of those five circles. Well, once I do this, guess what this looks like? Now I've drawn an array. And we know that we use an array to model multiplication. And so if we look at this array like this, we know, oh, that's easy, 3 times 5, and that makes 15 because I've got 15 circles. Well, the same thing works for area. So there is an equation we can use for area. Area equals length times width. That's something that you'll learn as you get older, length times width, and sometimes they'll just abbreviate that as L, capital L times capital W. That means you can take your length, and you can take your width, and you can multiply them together, and you don't have to draw the rest of the squares out. Sometimes you can, but you don't have to draw the squares. You literally just have to take the two sides of the rectangle, multiply them together, and so you would do it like this, 3 times 5, multiply the length and the width together, and you will get your area of 15 square units.